Hello, hello, all you beautiful people. Our last few videos, we were using Llama 3, but the models we are using were the 8B version specifically, as an 8 billion parameter. Today, though, we'll be taking a look at the 70B parameter model, how it's different, and what possible use cases you could use it for. Firstly, let's discuss what we mean when we say 8 billion versus 70 billion parameter, as that is the main difference. This is an image you may recall seeing earlier. Essentially, in the context of language models, parameter refers to the number of learnable weights or connections within the neural network architecture. You can think of parameters as the knobs or dials that control the model's behavior. The more parameters a model has, the more complex and nuanced its behavior can be, as these parameters are adjusted during training to minimize the loss function and optimize the model's performance. In other words, a model with more parameters can learn to recognize and generate more subtle patterns in language, meaning that although both models were trained with the same 13 trillion data tokens, 70B, the model with a higher parameter count will always perform better compared to one with less parameters. And I do want to make a point to say that this is not at all bashing the 8B model at all. In fact, in my opinion, it is better than the older Llama 2 70B models in a lot of ways such as less repetition and remembering past conversations. Which, if we stop to think about, is kind of crazy that the smallest Llama 3 model is still better than the largest Llama 2 model from previous generations. Its architecture, although relatively smaller, is still very efficient. This makes it well suited for deployment on lower resource hardware or for applications where speed and latency are critical. Lastly, to run the 70B model, you do need a stronger computer with a good GPU and CPU than you would need with the 8B model. But thankfully, we have Compute Grid, so this isn't a problem. If we go over to everyone's favorite GPU resource sharing platform, I have access to GPUs like, for example, Sage here. Sage has a NVIDIA RTX A6000 GPU, which is one of the best GPUs on the market for AI and deep learning as it offers a high number of CUDA cores, tensor cores, and ray tracing cores, resulting in fast and efficient performance. It also has a lot of RAM and disk space, so it's perfect to run the larger 70B Llama 3 model. All we have to do is click on Instance, and then click Start Instance. While we wait, here is a reminder to like and subscribe as it helps us continue creating videos and knowing what you want to see from us. If there is a video topic you'd like, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Once our instance is complete, our next step is going to be to SSH into our instance. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up a terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger for you guys. And our first step is going to be to run the SSH command. So shcg at computegrid.ai dash p for port. 240. We're going to go ahead and respond with yes, and then type in our randomized SSH password. Perfect, and we are in. If we want, we can go ahead and use the command nvtop just to confirm that we are in fact using the NVIDIA RTX A6000 GPU. Let's go ahead and quit and continue on. Our next step is going to be to run the install command for Llama. Perfect. Next, let's go ahead and pull the default Llama 3. And as pulling the manifest up, we can see that the default is 4.7 gigabytes. This again is going to be the 8B model. While this loads, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab in my terminal. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and run the 70B parameter model in this one. So same thing, sshcg at at computegrid.ai I'm 
I'm going to check back on our other model. Perfect. And then here, we're going to go ahead and run Olama. Or Olama, run Olama 3 for me. Go back and type in our randomized password. And perfect. And from here, the commands are going to be relatively the same. We're still going to go ahead and install a llama. We're still going to pull llama 3 as we did before. So, O llama, pull llama 3. The difference is going to go is going to be our run command. So, instead of saying just run llama 3, we're going to tell our ter terminal O llama run llama 3 colon 70 lowercase b. As we can see, this manifest is 39 gigabytes, so a very large difference in comparison to the earlier 4.7 gigabytes for the Llama 8B. And while I wait for this to load, I'm going to go ahead and separate my windows and make these bigger to take up the whole screen. There we go. Wrong desktop. And this may take about five minutes or so. So go ahead, grab a snack, grab a drink. I'll be here waiting for you guys. Perfect. So now that we have both models running side by side, we can go ahead and compare them. Let's take a moment to remember though that due to the large parameter size, the 70B model is able to have improved language understanding, increased domain knowledge, better handling of ambiguity and uncertainty, faster response times, and more creative and engaging responses. So let's go ahead and test that, and we'll start really easy. We're just gonna say, tell me a funny joke. Tell me a funny joke. Why don't eggs tell jokes? because they'd crack each other up. Hope that made you giggle. Do you want to hear another one? Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Wait for it, because I was too tired. Hope that made you laugh. So, not too much of a difference there. Let's try something a little more challenging. And this time, I'm gonna copy and paste in my prompts and go ahead and try to put enter as closely as possible just so we can monitor the speed of them. So I'm going to ask both of them to create a 10, a short 10 video marketing plan for my gym. I want to make sure the topics are interesting for people trying to change their life through fitness and healthy living. So enter and enter. So the 8B model did con did complete first. Let's still give the 70B model a chance though. New year, new you, power of morning routines, my fitness journey, a gym member's transformation, top five fitness Myths debunked, morning routine for a boost of energy, benefits of group fitness classes.
So let's see, both of them did give me 10 video topics, which is very nice. It looks like in the format of the 8B, we have topic, script, and visuals. Here are just point by point, but it's things like showcase multiple before and after assess stories, share inspiring quotes and testimonials, encourage viewers to share their own transformation stories. And it looks like our ending advice is just to remember to keep videos concise, visually engaging, and informative, using a mix of talking, workout footage, etc. We have on this one though a bit more advice, kind of similar, still keep it short, using a mix of visuals and footage, optimize for sound, add in captions. So it looks like both still gave me decent information, but I feel like at the very end I got more advice out of the 70B model. So that's just one example. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I give both models a really bad resume and see if they can make it better. Gonna go ahead and copy that in. Let's go ahead and enter and then enter. So it looks like this one's going ahead and running first. Keep in mind, we are still on the same instance. They both might be taking churns, but all in all, I am still getting a fairly fast response. And if we look through my example um, resume that I gave, skills, chewing quietly with my mouth open, typing, talking to people, taking people's money, experience is a random bank in Los Angeles, counting, closing the bank, helping people, and then apparently Max Maxton also worked in McDonald's in Burbank, dealing with money, handling room people, and his education is just a high school diploma from San Francisco. So we see it addresses me as Max. Hello, I'd help prove resume and give it a more professional light. Summary has changed to dedicated and detail-oriented professional with experience in customer-facing roles, cash handling, and administrative tasks, still in communication, problem solving, and time management. It took down my earlier really bad skills and made it excellent communication into personal skills, ability to work well under pressure. Uh, my teller has went has become processing customer transactions accurately and efficiently from just counting, which is fairly nice. High school diploma, and it tells me the following changes it made for me and reminded me to tailor my resume for my civic job needs. On the 70B model, it, here's a revised version. Doesn't address me as Max, so not as personal, but still fairly good. We have our contact information. Summary is dedicated and detail-oriented professional and baking and customer service. The skills, cash handling and management, customer service, basic math and counting skills. These are all very basic and not as nice as the other ones on the 80B model. I also don't have as well written out or thought out um, responsibilities for my job. Both still tell me what changes they made, but honestly, I feel like on this one, the 70B model did do more for me. Next, I wanna go ahead and test reasoning using family quizzes, as family relationships are commonly known concepts, but still can be confusing. First, I wanna test both models their family relationships family relationship with a distance of two, one being parents, two being grandparents, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and copy in this prompt. And the prompt is, given the family relationships, Wayne is Brittany's parent, Billy is Madison's parent, Madison is Wayne's parent, Brittany is Amanda's parent, Madison is Michael's parent. Who, what is Amanda's relationship to Wayne? Select the correct answer below. So one, two, three, Amanda is Wayne's grandparent, Amanda is Wayne's sibling, and Amanda is Wayne's grandchild. So it looks like the answer is three, Amanda is Wayne's grandchild. We have ex explanation here. And to determine Amanda, and so that is correct for the 70B, the 8B model, um, it did not give me the answer the way I wanted. I, If you notice in both prompts, I said enclose selected answer number in the answer tag, for example, answer one, answer. 
and the 70B did follow, saying answer three, answer, whereas the 8B model did not. Um, so that's a point off there. Mm, we can conclude. So Wayne is Amanda's grandparent. Amanda is Wayne's grandchild. So they both came to the same conclusion. But once again, the 70B parameter model was able to understand better and actually follow all of my requirements for my prompt. I'm going to try a harder one. This one's going to be a distance of three, and we're going to add even more options for this one. I'm going to go ahead and actually put enter on the 8B model, just to be a little nice. Give it a little win. Um, so determine Andrea's, and actually before I read the responses, let me read to you guys the prompts and see what you guys think. So Brittany is Jerem Jeremy's parent. Peter is Lauren's parent. Peter is Madison's parent. Peter is Ma Brittany is Peter's parent. Madison is Betty's parent. Richard is Andrea's parent. Lauren is Gabriel's parent. Gabriel is Richard's. Jana is Brittany's parent. So what is Andrea's relationship to Lauren? Select the correct answer and once again, put it in the answer tags. Now that we have an answer from both, we can compare. So once again, the um, 70B model again, did put the answer the way I wanted it to, not as clear here, but it also chose answer, looks like answer two, one, Andrea is Lauren's niece or nephew, so it chose answer one, whereas our 70B model chose answer two, so let's see why. So to determine any relationship to Lauren, we need to analyze the family relationships provided. From these statements, we conclude that Richard is Gabriel's parent, Andrea is Richard's child, Gabriel is Lauren's parent, so Andrea is Lauren's niece or nephew, which given the information, I guess can track, but really, again, this is supposed to be like great aunt or niece. So let's see what on the other side, what our 70B model said. Answer two explanation, Gabriel is Richard's parent. Richard is Andrea's parent. So Gabriel is Andrea's grandparent, so on, so forth. Peter is Lauren's parent. Uh, the other ones don't give any diff additional information regarding the, the Andrea's relationship to Lauren. So therefore, Andrea is Lauren's great aunt or uncle. And so it shows two, which still is correct, because again, this is going to be in three, so we were looking for great. So the 70B model is able to understand and, res and respond fairly better. And if we compare the reasonings, we can see that the 70B model does understand a bit better and understands the great relationship that I'm asking it for. These are obviously just a few simple examples showcasing some of the differences between the 8B and 70B models. But all in all, both are wonderful LLMs. We've seen how the increased parameter count in the 70B model leads to improved language understanding, domain knowledge, and handling of ambiguity and uncertainty. But the results speak for themselves. Whether it's generating creative responses, creating a marketing plan, fixing resumes, or even reasoning through uh, complex family relationships. While the AP model is still an impressive performer, especially considering its efficient architecture and lower resource requirements, the 70B model takes things to the next level. If you have the computational resource resources to spare, the 70B model is definitely worth exploring for your AI applications. And if you don't, you can always rely on ComputeGrid to have what you're looking for. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI Simplified with ComputeGrid.